Hey team, I just wanted to make a video because I promised I would and I um, I just have been busy and haven't gotten around to it. So today's the day. And I also wanted to kind of go over some of the things that I tried to talk about on our team call on Thursday. But um, apparently I did not push the right buttons because it um, recorded but there was no sound and that doesn't really help anybody. So I'm going to real fast go over the things that I talked about. Um, on Thursday on the call and then you could see my beautiful face um, instead of just listening to my annoying little voice. Um, so the first thing that I talked about um, was setting goals and dreaming big as we head into the month and we're really already a week into the month of September and it's going to go by fast. Um, time flies. Um, so I know um, most of you have probably set your goals for the month and I think a given goal every single month is steps to success. Like any top leader is going to tell you that that's what got them to the top and that's what their goal is every single month. And you can always go above and beyond that. But I think that a starting goal for every single month is steps to success. Um, it's what the company has laid out for us to help us be successful. And if we are doing the steps to success and teaching our teammates to do the same, um, then you will promote and your paycheck will go up and things like that, which is nice. Um, but set personal goals and things too that, um, you know, maybe you want to sell four wraps or maybe you want to sell 10 wraps or maybe you want to meet one new person a day or whatever. Um, it is maybe you want to read a book um, each month. Just, just set goals for yourself. But I really encourage you to um, aim high and um, dream big. And we are capable of so much more. And I think sometimes we limit ourselves and we, um, doubt ourselves. And so, um, we miss out because we, um, aim low when really there's so much. And so I don't know if you've seen like my dream wall before, but this is like what my desk looks at every day. Um, so that's kind of, um, when I sit down to work or, um, grab my Bible or get a book or anything from, this office area, um, that's what I see and that helps me focus and um, dream big and keep me motivated and behind me you kind of can see some pictures. The, the one over there is um, from Haiti where I used to live and the one over there is from Nepal, India where we have some friends or we had some friends serving and um, just overseas is a huge part of my heart and I would love to be able to travel more and so I see these pictures these paintings and they kind of motivate me too because that's kind of um a big dream on our heart and um I also have my um, little um this one that I see every day and that is from Ethiopia when we went this summer and um it has six little faces because we want to have six kids and I'm pregnant with number four and um, number five and six are in Ethiopia somewhere and I don't know when exactly we will get to bring them home but I know they're there and um, basically it works is going to pay <laughs> for the adoptions um, we'll raise money and stuff otherwise but it works will pay for a huge chunk of that and so that keeps me motivated and um, so you have to figure out what your why is and um, what's going to keep you inspired and keep you going because I mean reality is times do get um times do get hard and there are going to be days when you want to throw in the towel and give up and question yourself about what in the world am I doing? What did I get myself into? I can't do this. I'm not made for this. I don't have what it takes to be successful. And you, you are going to doubt yourself. And, um, I doubt myself and I have questions and fears and, um, you know, sometimes I fake it till I make it too confidence wise or, um, I just have to get over myself and look at my why and think, you know what, if I quit, then, that means I'm going to go back to doing in-home daycare and that really led, make, made me depressed. Um, I don't want to be there again at all. Um, so this is my this is my option and so I just give it all that I have and you know what some days I have more and some days I have less but I always try to do something every single day and um, I just encourage you like if your why doesn't make you cry then, it, then it's not big enough so um, dig deep as you're um, setting your goals and dreaming big for this month and um, I just want to kind of talk to you about expectations as we head into the fall um, summer can either be really big because everybody you know isn't wanting to get in their swimsuits and look good and um, is really self-conscious about their shorts or what they're wearing and now um, but it can also be slow because people are on vacation or they're getting ready for back to school and they're busy and stuff like that so it can it can be hit or miss um, just some expectations for going into fall 
is it can be hit or miss too, and really any time um, of, the, of the year can be hit or miss for us. Um, but fall can be different just because kids are back into school, but people are more into routine, they're more into a schedule. Um, so, you know, just kind of focus on where people are at. And I think the thing for us is not to try to sell anything, but try to be there for people and um, provide a solution to whatever problem they might be having. So I think listening to people and really getting a feel for um, where they're at in life and what's going on and um, just hearing their heart. Um, so right now, like with fall, things that can be big um, are greens because people are um, worried about flu season and their kids are in school and there's germs and things like that. So focus on the greens. Like you should focus on those all the time. But anyway, um, now's an even better time to focus on the greens. Um, or holidays are coming up and people aren't going to be eating the best on holidays. Um, so fat fighters are a big thing um, to get those loyal customers um, or wraps because people are going to be going to holiday parties and they want to look good. Um, and so you have a wrap for that. Um, just listen to what people are saying and, and offer the solution. Um, and I have no idea how it will turn out, but, um, I did an event this weekend and, um, there were some yeah. people with a booth right next to me that were selling like, um, doggy treats and stuff like that. And, uh, a guy and a girl couple were there and they were getting some cute little collars for their dogs. And she was talking about something about, um, that she hated her job. And so I just said, well, what do you do? And she, I can't remember what exactly. Oh, she bartends. Um, but she was just talking about how she didn't like, you know, her job. And so I just kind of asked her, you know, if you could do anything that you want, what would you do? What would, what would your dream life be? And she talked about travel and she said, I don't know what else. And I said, you get paid to travel. You would love to travel. And, um, so as they were getting ready to leave the dog booth thing, I just kind of reached over and handed her my card and said, um, you should, you should come do this with me. And, um, we can talk about doing something you love and helping other people. Cause she had mentioned that. Um, and she came over, she ended up buying two wraps and, um, got her, um, contact information and hopefully we can follow up and I would love for her to be a distributor on our team. But, um, it's because I listened to what she said and I had an immediate solution for her. Um, so just take time to listen to people as we're headed into this fall season. Um, something that's so important and I know you might get tired of hearing it because we want those immediate results. We want to see the fruits of our labor right now, but right now is like planting season and the work that you do now, the, following up, the posting, the contacting people, the meeting new people, everything that you do now is setting yourself up for January. And statistically, January is the busiest time of the year for our company because we are a health company. And in January, everybody makes New Year's resolutions and most of those revolve around health. Um, so January is typically the biggest time of year for us but you have to have planted those seeds. You have to have talked about it so that when people are making their New Year's resolutions and their goals, they have you come to mind and say, oh yeah, I bet she can help me with this. She has that wrap or she has those greens or those fat fighters or some supplement or whatever, some plan that she can help me with. And we want people to think of us. And so we have to do the groundwork now. So that is huge. And the other thing that I kind of want to talk about um, right now is gearing up for conference. Our annual conference is in January. It's usually mid-January. They'll probably make an announcement about it at the end of this month. Um, and they will probably have like an early bird special where you can get over like $100 off your ticket. I'm telling you right now, you need to be at conference. Lawrence and I will get a big hotel room and you can sleep on the floor. We can pack out the hotel room and have 30 people in there if that's what it's going to take for us to split the cost for you to get there. Um, last year, Lawrence and I flew um, and we packed an entire um, carry-on suitcase full of food. So we brought our breakfast, we brought our snacks, we brought our lunch. We ate out, I think, two meals um, the whole entire time that we were in Florida from Thursday to Sunday. Um, we saved money so that we could go. Um, we set aside a little bit of wrap cash or a little bit of our commission every single month so that we could go. And um, it was really cool that Lawrence came with me because then he could see why I'm so passionate about it and understand um, what it is I do and why I do it and why I enjoy it so much. So um, get there, please. Um, you don't have to bring your spouse, but 
I need you there and um, I want you there and I want um, to be with you and for you to experience it. You'll hear from people at the top. You'll hear the stories. You'll hear tips. You'll hear ideas. You'll learn about new products. You'll hear from Dr. Don, um, the doctor who is in charge of the supplement line and the greens. You'll hear from Dr. Louise who's in charge of the skincare line and the wraps. You'll hear from corporate. You'll hear from John Eric, our chief adventure officer. You'll hear from Mike Patillo um, and Pam Souter from Mark and Cindy, um, you will see the heart of this company. You will be excited. There will be like 15,000 other people there. Um, and it, it just is amazing. You need to be there. So I can't stress it enough that you need to be there for conference. And if you watch the video that I posted um, that Jade Hooper did for her team and setting goals um, and going into fall, she really emphasized being at conference too. So um, I think if you ask any top leader, they're going to tell you um, – to get your butt to conference. So um, I will see you all in January for sure in Florida where it's nice and warm. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about all that. And then the next thing, let me check my screen, um, is following up with cur current loyal customers. We always talk about following up with potentials, but we need to be sure that we're following up with current loyal customers as well. And just saying, hey, how are you doing? It doesn't even have to be asking them about it works, just asking them how life is. Um, or, you know, how are you locking your greens? Or how are the wraps? Or did you have any questions? Can I help you with anything? Hey, did you know that you have 58 perk points? Whatever. Um, it's really important when they're in their second month to make sure that when they are putting in their third order that they are already hooked on something. So they're not contacting you after that third month saying, I finished my three-month agreement. I'm ready to cancel my auto shipment and just order whenever I want, which is fine. They can still order whenever they want, but chances are that they're not going to keep ordering every month. We need to get them hooked on something like greens or a skincare item or a vitamin or something like that that they feel like they can't live without. So make sure you're following up with current loyal customers and letting them know that you really care about them and that you're there to help them. And let them, you know, um, advertise for you. Um, ask them to share um, how they're liking their products or something like that on their Facebook page. And then you have somebody else talking about the products, not just you. And um, that can generate some business as well. Um, if you do have to do like damage control where maybe you're following up with a current loyal customer or somebody who bought a wrap from you and they didn't have the results that they wanted, um, I always first thing I do is ask for pictures, um, especially if it's wraps. Um, I just, I pictures tell the story. Even me personally, when I did my very first wrap, I did not think it worked. I looked in the mirror and thought I looked exactly the same. And I just resigned myself to the fact that I was going to be one of those people because there are people out there who do need a full four wraps, a full treatment to see the results that they want. Yes, 80 to 95% of people see results in 45 minutes. I just wasn't going to be one of those people. So whatever. I had taken pictures though, thank goodness. And I put them side by side. And when I put them side by side, I started jumping up and down and screaming for my husband to come look because I realized that it did work and I looked different. I was just hard on myself and so often we're a lot harder on ourselves than other people are and we don't see the difference um, even if it's there or it might be um, if they had stretch marks that it's focusing on those and on skin repair and maybe not them losing five inches or whatever and I never measure anyway it's all pictures so I always encourage people to take pictures that's where it's at I can't really help in, with wrapping unless they've taken a picture if it's something else then I try to get an idea for their lifestyle um are they stressed um are they drinking water are they eating right are they getting enough sleep are they going to the bathroom and I know that's a kind of personal question but if people aren't regular, then they're going to be bloating and their body's holding on to toxins and the thermal fit or the greens or the fat fighters aren't going to be working as well. So drinking water and going to the bathroom is really important. Um, just ask them what their routine is. Ask them how they're using their products, when they're using them. Maybe they're taking um, their greens and thermal fit and then their fat fighters right after them. And we don't want to do that because... Um, that fat fighters can block what the thermal fit and stuff is doing. So um, make sure they're using the products correctly. So, um, you know, if you need to do damage control or something like that, um, I'm happy to help. But um, just always let your customers know that you're there for them and that you want to help them any way that you can. And if they have a question that you don't know the answer to, that you're going to talk to somebody and you'll get right back with them to help them um, know what's going on or something like that. Um, next is events, expos, bazaars, and more. Um, fall is a huge time for fall festivals or um, apple days or uh, apple cider fests or um, arts and craft shows or um, 
holiday shopping bazaars for Christmas even. Um, look on Google or somewhere like on your city chamber of commerce, anywhere that's within an hour of you. Um, look for for events and expos. I sold six wraps this weekend and it was a three day event. I didn't sell anything on Thursday. I didn't sell anything on Friday, but I sold six wraps on Saturday. Um, and I was selling them one for 25 or two for 40. So I made $120 um, in one day. I have new leads. I met new people. Um, so that was helpful. Um, look for events or set up a team wrap party that you do every week or every other week that um, is consistent. Um, do something, um, and maybe it's gonna be out of your comfort zone, but I'm telling you, um, events can really help your business. You don't have to do events all the time. That's the amazing thing about this business is you can do whatever is your strength, but I encourage you, if at all possible, to look for events that are in your area. Um, just to be able to get the word out and make some wrap cash and get some new leads um, with new potentials and new distributors and things like that. Um, and the last thing that I wanna talk about was power hours. And um, a power hour is where you set aside one hour and you could break it up. You could have a power 15 minutes where you set aside 15 minutes. Maybe that's all you have at that point in time. But it's where you have undistracted work. It's not scrolling through Facebook or um, with your kids distracting you. It's an undivided, intentional, really, earnest time of work, whether it's 15 minutes, five minutes, or an hour. Okay, so I'm going to call it a power hour. So like right now, this is part of my power hour. I'm doing a video for you guys. Um, another part of my power hour was talking to one of our teammates on the on the phone and just calling and encouraging her and supporting her and answering some questions. Um, I've um, helped one of my current loyal customers use her perk points to get some greens. I've followed up with some potentials from the, um, the event that I was at this weekend. Um, I have sent messages to a few other people. Um, sometimes my power hour includes um, watching videos of other leaders like Jade Hooper, or Jocelyn Yates, or Melissa, or Rachel, or Lori Conway, or um, Lydia Diaz, or other people that I've posted, you know, on our page to to encourage me and to give you guys ideas too. So that can be part of your power hour. Sometimes my power hour is going to my um, list that I've created on Facebook. It's over 800 people that are potentials. And I will go just to that. And I will spend 5-10 minutes liking, 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 commenting. Oh my goodness, your boys are so cute. Or I hope your little girl has a great first day. Or that's a, I love your necklace. And just commenting on their pictures and things like that. Getting an idea for what's going on in their life. That way, when I post, I am more likely to show up on their newsfeed. And they're going to be seeing my posts. Um, I just um, recently reconnected with a friend from college. I didn't know her too well, but I, I knew her. And um, I was on a mom's page, which is another way that I connect and I meet new people. Somebody asked me how I meet one to, new, one to two new people every single day. Um, I'm on several mom's pages, and I scroll through them as part of my power hour. And I will like or comment on um, things that are on there, whether it's about um, cloth diapering or... Um, kids being sick or what kind of jeans you like to buy or where you can get kefir or whatever it is that people are talking about, I'm going to comment on it so that they see my name and their name comes up. Um, and if anybody mentions anything about their kids being sick or being tired or having migraines or anything that we have a solution for, then I will private message them. I'll send them a friend request and I'll private message them and um, offer them a green sample or something like that. Um, I also add them to my list that I have on Facebook that you can create um, of my potentials. And when I post on that list, only my potentials see it. So I did that with this girl. Um, we connected on our um, mom's page and I added her to my potentials list. I posted a before and after picture um, that I did not make salesy. Um, the, it was my, I, a mom had had nine C-sections. And so I said, oh my goodness, I don't know what's more impressive, nine C-sections or the results that she got after seven wraps. Um, that's a lot of babies and I'm super excited, um, for her. And I got several comments on it. And one of the comments was from this new, um, person that I had just added to my potentials list. And she said, what are these wraps that you talk of? I've been doing this for almost three years now. February will be three years. And, um, there's still people out there, guys, who have never heard of it works. So if you have people telling you that we're saturated, they're lying or they don't understand. Um, we have 100,000 distributors worldwide. Mary Kay, which is just 
the United States um, has somewhere like 2 million distributors um, or consultants or whatever they're called. We have 100,000 worldwide in almost 20 countries. Um, no way, shape, or form are we saturated at all whatsoever. Um, I personally live in Kansas City where over 10 of the top 100 earners live. And I still personally meet people every day who are not customers are not distributors or who have never even heard of it works before and have no idea what I'm talking about. So we are not saturated. Don't let people tell you that. Um, so you pick what you're going to do during your power hour and it can be different every day. Um, switch it up. That's one of the nice things about this, this job is that it's new every day. So, um, get yourself into some groups. Um, like, comment on people, um, send messages to people that have nothing to do with it works. Just, hey girl, what's up in your life these days? How are you doing? Your kids look cute. Go to their page first and get an idea of what's going on in their life so you have a way to connect with them. Um, follow up with people that have expressed an interest. Um, look for events in your area. Watch a training video. Um, check out the Ambassador Factory page or the Better Together page or something and um, get some before and after pictures stored on your phone or on your computer or testimonies or whatever um, you pick but it's it's undivided focused time that you're gonna work and I really truly believe that if you are diligent and consistent in that that that's gonna pay off huge dividends and um, you're gonna reap the harvest of that whether it's immediately or you know come January you have this big huge boom in your business um, personally I did have a big huge boom in my business last year after con after after conference um, my husband went from ruby to diamond um, and I went from a struggling diamond who was barely maintaining my diamond status to a uh, double diamond and we earned bonuses and it was crazy March was a out of the world month for us um, but that happened because I had been consistent and posting and following up and talking to people in the months prior to that. So, um, again, plug for conference. And I got the whole power, I power hour idea from a different, um, distributor. We all learn and grow from each other. And, um, so I'm going to share real fast that I am not perfect at all. Um, and you guys can learn and grow from me, but I can learn and grow from you too. And I had some people ask me, um, one, how I meet new people every day. Um, and if, even if you are stuck at home, when I was stuck at home doing daycare, I still made it my goal to meet one to two new people every single day through either, um, Facebook or a, um, like a group page, like a mom's page or something like that. Um, sending a friend request to somebody or looking through my friends list and seeing who um, I have mutual friends with and sending them a friend request and getting them to see my posts and things like that. So you can be creative that way. Um, other times you might have to do it when you're out and about. Um, when I go to the park or the grocery store or the library or the zoo or anywhere, um, I make it my goal to hand out at least one blitz card to somebody new, um, whether I, you know, talk to a mom at the park and say, hey, we should do a play date together. Here's my card or whatnot. Um, I try to interact and get them either as Facebook friends, even if I don't hand them a Blitz card, just get them as Facebook friends or get their contact information in some way so I can follow up with them and we can become friends and develop a relationship that might lead to something with It Works. Um, so, you know, you've got to be creative with how you're going to meet people, but unless you're meeting new people, your circle kind of stays the same and then you run out of people to talk to because you're just talking to the same people all the time. So um, be creative in how you get to know people and usually it means that you have to open this. And I know that can be scary sometimes, opening your mouth and putting yourself out there, um, but I promise you it can be really rewarding because I've met some amazing people um, through that and made some really neat friends because of that. Um, somebody else asked me how I keep track of all those new people that I meet. And I like to be organized. I really do. Um, and I do have a spreadsheet of all my income, all my expenses. I also have a um, document spreadsheet thing of all my teammates um, with all your guys' names um, that I've personally enrolled um, with your name, your distributor number, and when you enrolled. And then I also do that same thing with my loyal customers that I personally enroll. I keep, I have their name, I have um, when they enrolled, and who I place them under. Because I, I very, very rarely keep my loyal customers. I place them under you guys um, to help get bonuses and promote and all that good stuff. Um, so I keep track of my customers that way. I also have this amazing clipboard. 
that um, is getting thicker and thicker of paper. And the, the top, on the top of my clipboard, and this is my organization, so if I lose this clipboard, then um, I've lost my brain. Um, so I keep my steps to success sheet because that's my goal. And you can see I've only signed up one loyal customer so far this month. I have lots of potentials. I have four other people um, who have told me that they're going to order this month, so hoping. Um, and you can see I did, I did not print it off because my printer's not working and that's not an excuse, so I made my own. And um, I do have a goal of completing the steps to success three times. Um, so I have little customers, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I have distributors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so that would be steps to success number one, number two, number three. That's just my personal goal. Like I said at the beginning, your goal should be to do it at least once. So I, I do that, and then I also made a, a goal this month of selling 10 wraps. Um, I have officially sold six. I have two that are spoken for. I'm just waiting for the um, money from them. And then I just got an email from someone who um, is going to buy one from me. So I'm at nine, and I have another event later um, this month. So hopefully I'll get at least that one other wrap sold. Or, um, you know, who knows? Somebody could buy it today. And I can sell more than 10. That was just a, a goal. I also have a goal of, of booking three parties, um, whether the, one of them will probably be our team online party, but I would really like um, to get two people to host a party for me um, where I am not the host. It's not at my house or something like that. Somebody else is hosting it for me. Um, and then down here I have where I want to get um, six teammates to Ruby and three teammates to Diamond. Um, you don't get anywhere in this business by helping yourself. Um, you get to the top by helping others. And I seriously want to help you guys. And um, I have goals for you guys, but you have to have your personal goals. And I can't want it for you more than you want it for yourself. So I don't know who these people are going to be. Um, it could be somebody that I sign up tomorrow. Maybe they're going to be my new Ruby. Or maybe you're going to be the one of these people that gets checked off that is a new Ruby or a new Diamond. I don't know. But I would love to have to fill in some more circles. So that's kind of that. And then um, also on this, I have charts. So I have people that I am working um, with to promote. And these are people on the top that have shown me that they are working hard and putting in the effort themselves. And they're not just kind of relying on me to build their business for them. So I have those. And then I have other charts. I have like I have charts for everybody, guys. Like every time you guys sign a distributor, I put it in my chart. And um, you can keep track of your charts however you